Today's learning task, write a short paragraph providing another ending for a story you listen. Samantha was ready for the dance show. She had practiced her steps over and over. Before the show, she felt sure of herself. She smiled at the audience as she came into the stage. What do you think will happen to Samantha at the end of the story? Great! At the end of this story, the audience applauded Samantha because she did an excellent performance. Do you like to make your own ending of a story? Now let's have another story. And the title of this story is A Little Hero. Jose de la Cruz was 11 years old when he went to Manila to study. He stayed in a dormitory near Intramuros. He was happy because there were many boys of his age staying there too. One afternoon, the children were having fun flying kites in the garden. There were no classes so Jose just stayed in his room and read books. He read fables and legends. Suddenly, he heard a loud cry. Stopped reading. He looked out of the window. He saw Julio, one of his friends, in dormitory. Jose put down his book and consoled Julio. He continued crying as he pointed to be steeple of the church. Many boys gathered around Julio. Some were laughing at him, others were teasing him because of what happened to his kite. Upon seeing there, Jose de la Cruz gave the boys a cold stare. So what do you think will happen to the end of the story? Good job! Julio gets his kite and they enjoy flying the kite together. Would you like to hear another story? The title of the story is Belling the Cat. ago there were three mice that lived in a big house they had an enemy pat the cat now pat the cat was a watchful cat she watched the house so closely that the three mice could hardly go out from their small hole they could not look for tasty food to eat The first mouse called for a meeting to solve the problem. We need to fool Pat the cat, said first mouse. Yes, or we will be so hungry we will die, agreed second mouse. What should we do to fool Pat? The mice were silent for a while thinking. Suddenly, third mouse shouted, Oh, I know how. How? asked first mouse and second mouse. But who will build the cat? asked second mouse. Not I, said first mouse. If not you, then who? asked third mouse. Looking at second mouse, uh-uh, 
Not I, said second mouse. If not you, then who? Asked third mouse. You, chorused first mouse and second mouse. Not I, answered third mouse. So the three mice had a brilliant idea to solve the problem, but not one of them could do it. So what do you think will happen to the end of the story? Here are some steps that we need to follow on how to write an ending of a story. Number 1. Listen carefully to a story. Number two, list down all the ideas that you have out of a story. Number three, write a paragraph by using words that can make your ending more interesting. Now let's have some activities on how to write an ending of a story. Jet has come up ache, but he did not want to see a doctor nor take medicines. A. His illness would be healed naturally. B. His illness would get worse. So what do you think will be the ending of the story? Good job! The answer is letter B. His illness would get worse. Magicians create illusions with their hands and with their special equipment. It is said that the hand is quicker than the eye. What if the eye is quicker than the hand? A. There will be no more magic. B. It will be interesting. The answer is letter A. There will be no more magic. Again, let's have another activity. Read the stories and write an ending for each of the story. Jet is wearing his new shirt. He wanted to go outside to play. Her mother told him not to get dirty. Jet said he will be careful and then he closed the door. Just then, he tripped over a big rock and fell into mud. Let's see if you learned something today. Number one, what are the steps in writing an ending of a story? And number two, let's pretend that you are a writer. And how will you end a story? Now let us apply what you have learned today. Kindly get your notebook and answer the following activity. Finish the story by writing the ending of the story using the box below. 
Some lived in an apartment building. There was a small park in front of her building with grass and trees. One morning, when Sam was waiting for a tricycle, she saw a small kitten. It was wet, so all of its fur stuck to its skin, showed how thin. Sam was sorry for the little kitten. She thought that it has lost its mother. She did not want it to go hungry. So what do you think will be the ending of the story? Rewrite the paragraph by stating the possible ending of the story below. Nicole is a problem child at home and in school. She doesn't study her lessons. She stays late at night watching TV. She loves to eat junk foods. One time, she changed her study habits and the way she eats. So what do you think will be the possible ending of the story? Have a nice day, kids. Bye!